The dominance of the United States dollar as the global reserve currency is facing a significant challenge as countries around the world seek greater financial sovereignty and reduced exposure to American economic policies and sanctions. This movement towards dollarization, the reduction of reliance on the U.S. dollar, has been driven by a confluence of factors, including concerns over dollar volatility, the dominance of Western financial institutions, and the desire for a more multipolar economic system. If you're new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. A leading role in this transition has been played by the BRICS nations Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa collectively accounting for a sizable share of global GDP and trade, the BRICS group has promoted alternative financial mechanisms to challenge dollar hegemony. The establishment of the New Development Bank in 2014, intended to fund infrastructure projects and reduce dependence on Western-led financial systems, represents a pivotal milestone in this effort to foster a more diversified and resilient global financial structure. This shift in international trade and monetary policy has now reached another significant landmark, as Iran and Russia have fully transitioned to using their local currencies for bilateral trade, effectively excluding the US dollar entirely. This development, confirmed by Iranian authorities, stands as one of the first instances of the world's reserve currency being completely eliminated from trade between two major economies. To better understand the context of this new arrangement, it is important to examine the historical evolution of the Russia-Iran relationship. Formal diplomatic and commercial ties between the two nations date back to the 16th century during the Safavid dynasty. However, the 18th and 19th centuries saw a series of Russo-Persian wars, resulting in significant territorial losses for Persia, modern-day Iran, and fueling long-standing resentment towards Russian expansionism. Following the 1917 Russian Revolution, the Soviet Union initially sought to distance itself from the imperialist policies of the Tsarist regime, renouncing claims in Persia and signing a Treaty of Friendship in 1921. Yet, during World War II, the Soviet Union and Britain jointly occupied Iran, leading to the Iran Crisis of 1946, one of the early confrontations of the Cold War. Despite promises to withdraw, the Soviet Union delayed its exit, provoking Iranian suspicions of expansionist ambitions. The dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991 opened new avenues for Russia-Iran relations. In the 1990s, Russia became a key supplier of military equipment and nuclear technology to Iran, including assistance in constructing the Boucher nuclear power plant. This cooperation, however, faced challenges due to international concerns over Iran's nuclear program and pressure from Western nations. In the 21st century, the strengthening of ties between Russia and Iran has been particularly evident in their shared interests in promoting regional stability and countering U.S. influence in the Middle East. This alignment was most pronounced during the Syrian civil war, where both nations provided substantial support to the Assad regime, significantly influencing the conflict's trajectory. Russia's military intervention in 2015, including airstrikes, intelligence sharing, and the deployment of advisors, bolstered Assad's forces against various opposition groups. Concurrently, Iran supplied ground support through the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, and mobilized allied militias such as Hezbollah to fight alongside Syrian government forces. This coordinated effort was instrumental in recapturing key territories and fortifying the Assad regime's position, marking a significant deepening of military and political ties between Russia and Iran. The collaboration in Syria has had profound implications for the regional geopolitics, as the Russia-Iran partnership has been perceived as a counterbalance to U.S. and Western presence, reshaping alliances and power structures within the Middle East. By the start of the Russia-Ukraine conflict in February 2022, Iran and Russia have further deepened their collaboration across military, economic, and political spheres. Reports suggest that Iran has supplied Russia with unmanned aerial vehicles, notably the Shahid-136 drones, which have been utilized in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Iran is also assisting Russia in establishing domestic drone production facilities, aiming to produce thousands of drones annually by 2025. Economically, 
both nations have sought to mitigate the impact of Western sanctions by enhancing bilateral trade and conducting transactions in their national currencies, reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar. This strategy aims to circumvent international financial restrictions and bolster their economies amidst global isolation. Politically, Iran and Russia have coordinated their stances in international forums, presenting a united front against Western policies. Their partnership has extended to joint military exercises and intelligence sharing, further solidifying their strategic alliance. The recent Iran-Russia agreement to move to 100% trade in local currency represents a significant milestone in this process of dollarization. According to a statement by Mohammad Reza Farzan, the governor of the Central Bank of Iran, the two nations have completely eliminated the use of the U.S. dollar in their bilateral trade, which is now conducted exclusively in rubles and rials. Farzan further noted that the financial authorities of both countries have reached an agreement on the exchange rates to facilitate foreign trade transactions. This development follows earlier financial agreements between Iran and Russia, including a currency swap agreement signed in July 2022 and the integration of Russia's MIR payment system with Iran's Shitab network, launched in November 2022. The rationale behind this global movement towards dollarization can be attributed to several key factors, chief among them the perceived weaponization of the U.S. dollar as a tool of foreign policy. In the aftermath of the September 11, 2001 attacks, the United States intensified its use of economic sanctions and financial controls as instruments of its foreign policy. This strategy, often referred to as the weaponization of the U.S. dollar, has prompted several countries to seek alternatives to the dollar in international trade and finance. The U.S. government's expanded financial surveillance and sanctioning capabilities, enabled by its oversight of the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication SWIFT, network, have allowed it to monitor and restrict international financial transactions. This control has allowed the U.S. to impose sanctions on foreign entities and individuals, effectively using the dollar as a means to enforce its foreign policy objectives. The increased use of the dollar as a geopolitical instrument has led several countries to pursue dollarization for various reasons, primarily centered around the pursuit of economic sovereignty. Economic sovereignty refers to a nation's ability to control its own economic policies, resources, and trade without external interference. In recent years, several countries have sought to reduce their reliance on the U.S. dollar to mitigate vulnerabilities associated with U.S. sanctions and financial pressures. By decreasing dependence on the dollar, these nations aim to circumvent the economic constraints imposed by the U.S.'s ability to leverage its financial system centrality. Engaging in trade using alternative currencies enables countries to broaden their economic partnerships and diminish reliance on the U.S. dollar, offering several advantages. Settling transactions in local or mutually agreed-upon currencies allows nations to avoid potential sanctions or financial constraints associated with dollar-denominated trade. For instance, Russia and China have increased the use of the renminbi in their bilateral trade to mitigate the impact of U.S. sanctions. Utilizing multiple currencies in trade fosters economic ties with a wider array of countries, reducing dependence on any single economy. This diversification enhances resilience against economic fluctuations and geopolitical tensions. Various nations have undertaken dollarization efforts to enhance economic sovereignty and mitigate exposure to U.S. economic policies and sanctions. Several countries have emerged at the forefront of this global dollarization movement. Russia, following Western sanctions, Russia has reduced the dollar's share in its national wealth fund and increased holdings in euros and yuan. It has also developed the System for Transfer of Financial Messages SPFS, as an alternative to SWIFT and conducted significant trade with China in national currencies. China China has actively promoted the internationalization of the renminbi, establishing currency swap agreements with multiple nations and launching the cross-border interbank payment system CIPS, to facilitate renminbi-denominated transactions. Chinese state-owned banks have also reduced interest rates on dollar deposits to encourage the use of the renminbi. India India has explored mechanisms to trade with partners like Russia using national currencies, bypassing the U.S. dollar. In March 2022, India and Russia entered into a ruble-rupee trade arrangement. 
Brazil, Brazil has engaged in dollarization by entering into agreements to trade in national currencies, including a 2013 agreement with China to trade in Brazilian real and Chinese yuan. Saudi Arabia In January 2023, Saudi Arabia's finance minister stated that the kingdom is open to trading in currencies other than the US dollar, marking a significant shift given its historical reliance on the dollar for oil transactions. Turkey has initiated strategies to decrease dependence on the US dollar in global commerce, aiming to establish trade without the use of the dollar with its international trading partners, including engaging in trade with China using local currencies. Iran Iran has sought alternatives to the dollar due to US sanctions, engaging in trade using other currencies and exploring the use of cryptocurrencies to facilitate international transactions. Southeast Asian nations, such as Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand, have also considered dollarization to reduce their dependence on the US dollar, expressing concerns about the volatility of the dollar's value and the use of the dollar embargo mechanism by the US government. The persistent use of the US dollar as a tool to exert political and economic pressure on countries has fueled discussions about large-scale dollarization, a global movement to reduce reliance on the dollar in international trade and finance. As nations increasingly view dollar-based sanctions and restrictions as a threat to their sovereignty, efforts to diversify away from the dollar could gain momentum. This trend is already evident in bilateral agreements to trade in national currencies, the rise of digital currencies, and the increasing use of alternative reserve assets like gold. A large-scale dollarization could have profound implications for the global economy and the United States. The dollar's dominance underpins its status as the world's primary reserve currency, granting the US significant economic advantages, including lower borrowing costs and the ability to finance large deficits. A decline in global reliance on the dollar would erode these privileges, leading to higher borrowing costs, reduced global demand for US financial assets, and potentially a weaker dollar. For the US, dollarization poses strategic risks, as it could diminish its ability to influence global policies through economic measures, reducing its geopolitical leverage. To mitigate this risk, the US might need to reconsider its approach to sanctions and ensure that its currency remains an attractive, neutral medium for global trade. The global shift away from reliance on the US dollar is a complex and multifaceted process, driven by a range of economic, political, and geopolitical factors. As countries around the world seek greater financial sovereignty and diversification, the future of the US dollar's dominance hangs in the balance, with far-reaching implications for the global economic and political landscape. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as sub so more people can see this.